Panda 3D has its own collision system. Many physics engines include their own. Panda 3D, along with its own collision system, supports the ODE PhysX and Bullet physics engines which all have their own collision systems. If you use those, you'll need to use their own collision systems. Mixing these physics engines with Panda's collision system won't work. However, if you plan to use them you might still find this tutorial useful, as the basics are the same. Collision solids Colliding visible geometry with each other is too slow and not used in practice, not merely because they are too high poly, visible geometry is not optimized for collision detection, so if you want to have collisions in your game, you'll need to use collision solids and attach them to your visible geometry. Here are some of Panda's collision solids. Sphere is the only collision solid which can collide with every other shape. This is probably the one which you'll use for your player. Tube is not as useful in Panda as in for example Bullet because it cannot be a from object. Let's hope the developers will add that someday. Can still be used as an into object. Ray is a collision solid that has no volume. It's just a ray which starts at some point and extends at some direction to infinity. It's useful for keeping your character on the ground. By attaching a ray to the player and shooting it down. It's also useful to move objects with the mouse, by putting a ray on the position of the mouse cursor and aiming it at the front of the camera. Line is the same as ray except it extends from both sides to infinity. Segment is also the same as ray except it's not infinitely long can be useful when you only want to collide with something which is not further than the ray length. Polygon. A polygon can be any shape and you'll usually make it in a 3D model like Blender. This is what you'll use for your maps. Plane. The collision plane is actually an infinite plane which extends in all directions, not useful for levels unless your ground is perfectly even and infinite, however it can be used for other things, like for setting the minimum height of your world, so your characters won't fall to an infinite hole. Inverse sphere is like an inside-out sphere, it collides with objects inside itself, not the opposite, can be used to keep objects inside it, not very commonly used. Parabola is also one of the exotic collision shapes. It can be used instead of a ray. For example if you want to shoot a cannonball, which doesn't have a perfectly straight trajectory. You have probably wondered by now what do from and into objects mean. The Panda collision system separates collision objects to from and into objects. As you guessed by the names, the first only collides with something else in the world. The other only receives collisions. Some shapes can be used for both. Like Ray can only be a from object because it has no volume. As you probably guessed, Polygon Solid can replace most of these types. So why bother and not just use that for everything? Well, when you use a specialized collision solid, the calculations done by Panda are different and are faster than calculating a custom shape. So no, colliding with a collision sphere and a collision polygon shape like a sphere is not the same. You'll use polygon for your maps. You shouldn't have a one big collision polygon for your map though. You should split it into smaller ones. The Optrify script for Blender 2.4 does it automatically for you. The Panda 3D manual has a collision system chart where you can find out which collision shapes can be used as a from and into objects. By default every from object or collider will collide with every into objects. That is every collision node in the scene graph. Usually you don't want every collider to collide with every other collision node. You can set which collision nodes collide with each other by setting their from and into collision masks. These masks are represented with Panda's Bitmask 32 objects, which are basically 32-bit integers. The collision node methods are set from CollideMask and set into CollideMask. Collisions are checked every frame. 
This means that if your collider is on one side of the into object this frame, and on the other in the next frame, collisions won't be detected and your collider can go through other objects like a ghost. Normally this does not happen, but sometimes it does when your collider is a rapidly moving object like a bullet. Panda 3D's collision system, like many others has a workaround for this. It's really simple actually, if you activate this feature, Panda 3D will remember your collider's position in the previous frame, then create a collision segment which starts from that old position and ends at your new position. If that ray collides with something, then your object doesn't move to the new position. As you see this can be more costly and you don't want to have it activated all the time even if you have a rapidly moving object. Because if you'll want to teleport your character from one position to another, then the collision system might detect a collision next frame and prevent you from doing that. To activate this, use base, C drav, set respect prev transform true and also instead of using object set pose, use object set fluid pose. Currently only collision sphere solids supports this feature, though other solids are less likely to give you this issue anyway. Collision handlers. Okay, now you have created your collision solids and attached them to your player and world geometry. Now what? How to make them collide with each other when they move? That's what collision handlers are for. Remember I told you that you can use collision systems to prevent objects from going through each other, but also doing something when two objects collide. There are different collision handler types, and they do different things when the solids, which are assigned to them, collide with each other. Collision handler floor is meant to be used with collision ray or segment. Like I explained above, you'll attach your ray to your player and collide it with the ground. Can also mimic gravity effect. Collision handler pusher keeps objects from going through each other. Also smoothly slides the from object along the into object if they collide at an angle. There are few other collision handlers like collision handler event, collision handler crew and physics collision handler, which is meant to be used with pandas built in physics engine. Collision handler event can be used to generate a panda event when collisions occur. The panda manual explains all of them in detail. Collision traverses. Collision traverser is what actually checks for collisions for the given collider using the given handler. Usually you will create a collision traverser object and assign it to base, c -trav. This will cause the collisions to be checked every frame automatically. You can assign it to your own variable, but then you'll need to run traverser traverse every frame manually by using a task. You can use more than one collision traverser. To assign a collider and a handler to a traverser, use traverser and collider collider handler. For debugging poses. You can easily visualize collisions with this method. Collision traverser show collisions render. The manual and forum are the best place to learn more about Panda's collision system. One of the forum members has made a collection of code snippets for learning the collision system, which can be found by following the third link. If you want more advanced collisions or advanced physics have a look at the bullet and ODE physics engines which come with Panda.